Devin Booker type player or Bradley Beal, but I, I didn't start playing basketball until so late. And like, I really feel like my game is just unique and creative in its own different type of way. So it sounds cliche, but I really just want to be like James Booknight, you know? Absolutely. Uh, Richard Harris. Hi, James. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, so I don't think many people would argue with, this, with the fact that you're probably one of the best shots in this draft. Um, however, you weren't overly efficient. Um, what What do you think about that? And is that something you have been working on since the season ended at Connecticut? And what other types of things have you been working on since the season ended? Um, so, so people really like to break down everybody's game into like strengths and weaknesses, you know? Yeah, I, mean, I don't really look at it like that. I just look at the stuff that I really excel at and that stuff that I could get better at, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely feel like I'm someone that you could get a ball to and ask him to go get a basket. I feel that way and I'm confident about that. Uh, but during this process, I just been working on everything, not trying to sell myself short. Um, just getting better at everything. All right, good answer. Thanks. <laughs> I like your house too. The pink walls. That's, that's... ah, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Hey, right, Mark Berman. Uh, hey, James. Uh, Mark Berman, New York Post. Uh, I know the Knicks are kind of out of your range right now, but. Did you get a chance to talk to them um, and I think I really see better from Brooklyn? Player, is there some special court, feeling about the next and career? And I also think yeah, um, I, did, I did get a, get to interview with them. And uh, just being from New York and, and playing basketball, growing up in New York, uh, playing in the garden, that would be a dream come true. I, I don't even know how to explain that feeling, but going to New York would be fun. And I feel like everybody I grew up with, and that, that would just be like an accomplishment for me. Is that something you may have expressed to them during the interview, or uh, it didn't come up, your Brooklyn heritage? Oh, no, I definitely told them I was from New York. They kind of already knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just about your three-point shooting, I mean, the percentages don't look great, but everyone says your shot is a, a beautiful technique. Are you worried at all about the NBA three-point line and whether you could be a three-point shooter in the NBA? No, I think I think that's definitely a part of my game that's oh, like uh, underrated, if you would, would you like to say. I think that, that in my playmaking ability, I just feel like – the role I had at UConn, just being that go-to guy to, to go get the team a bucket when we need one. Uh, at times, I took elevated shots and, and tough shots, and that just comes with the role that I had. But I, I'm not worried at all about my three-point shot, like at all. And I think I'm going to surprise a lot of people. Thanks, James. Josh Robbins. James, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. I uh, heard you say that you didn't start playing ball until late. Um, what? How did that come about, and um, what prompted you to ultimately begin playing basketball? All right, so so most of my childhood, I grew up playing baseball. I played. I was a shortstop and I was a pitcher. Uh, when I when I got to high school, a freshman at LaSalle, um, I just decided it was time to start something different, like go on a new journey. I just wanted to try something new. Um, Really just growing up in, in, in the neighborhood where I grew up, uh, everybody plays basketball. You don't really see too many baseball players. Like, all my friends play basketball. So I was just like, let me try this. And, and I ended up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious. For, again, we're trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh, who are some of the most influential people in your in your life? And, and why is why are they so important to you? Um. I feel like the most influential person in my life is definitely my father. Um, from the time I started playing basketball, he was he was the guy that, that would sit he would sit and, and wait for me to get done wherever whatever I was getting done, and he would wait for me. And he'll drive me home at twelve at night, and then wake up the next morning to get to work by five, and then he'll just repeat that weekly for years at a time. So, uh, just so much he sacrificed for me, and I, I just love him for that. And, and finally, if you don't mind, uh, one question on behalf of the entire group. 
Uh, we're just curious, what are some of the teams that you've interviewed with and what are some of the teams that you have interviews planned with? I, I've interviewed with a lot of teams. I, can't, I don't want to like just list off of all the names, but I've interviewed with a lot of teams and I put an interview with a few more. Uh, Mike Horkanoff. Hey, James. Uh, I was wondering, have you been watching the playoffs so far? And if so, um, what do you think uh, you kind of noticed that NBA teams want uh, in a wing and a player of your caliber, uh, you know, to be able to play deep into the playoffs? My fault. Can you repeat the question? Jared just pulled up. He on the beach. <laughs> it threw me <laughs> off a little bit. Yeah, I can understand. Jared's distracting like that. It's a good look for him. <laughs> Team vibes right now. Um, no, I was wondering, have you been watching the playoffs so far? And uh, if so, what have you noticed that teams want from a wing and a, and a player of your kind um, to be able to play deep into the playoffs? And, and you think, um, you know, a high caliber player wing right now? Uh, what, watching the playoffs, uh, you could just see that it's clear that you, you need that guy where you could give him the ball and, and he could go create a basket. Um, someone that could go and make plays for others and, and – and be like the go-to guy. And I feel like I could be there as a rookie. Uh, Leo, yes. Hey, James, how are you? I was, how are you doing? I was wondering if you've had a chance to, to speak with the Kings, and if so, how do you see yourself fitting in with a guy like Darren Fox and Tyrese Halliburton? Um, I, I have spoken to the Kings, and I, I feel like me, Tyrese, and um, Darren would be – will complement each other well. Uh, I feel like they're both unselfish guys who could go get their own. And I feel putting us three together in the backcourt would be something different. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Stephen Popper. Yeah, I know you mentioned about your role there at UConn, things that they asked of you. Um, I couldn't really hear you. Can you repeat that question? You mentioned before your role at UConn. Um, do, you, do you kind of see um, do the same, similar things in the NBA that point guards are being asked to be much more scoring guards now? Yeah, I feel like I can feel that role in the league too. Um, I just feel like the player I am, I, I feel like I have to fit in any role with any system with any coach. Um, that's just the type of player I feel that I am. I think I, you could put me in many different situations. I could thrive in all of them. Thank you. Okay, we have time for two more. So we'll go to Alder T. Almo. Hi, James. Thank you for doing this. I'm Alder from Empire Sports in January. Uh, I would just yeah, like to really ask. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's, it's a little blurry. Uh, James, I would like to ask uh, how do you see yourself fitting in with the Knicks? Uh, I feel like me on the Knicks would be, I think that fit would be great. Um, just Get another guard that could go out and you could give him the ball and ask him to go get a basket. Um, like I said before, though, I really feel like my playmaking ability is underrated. And um, just getting to a team where I could showcase that part of my game, I feel like that's essential. And I feel like I could do that on the Knicks. I mean, honestly, it was a pretty All right, and last, uh, from the beach. And add a little bit more to it. <laughs> James, uh, you know, a lot of great athletes that come into the league and they try to figure out what do they do next when their athleticism is in drastically better than everybody else. So what have you been doing to try to continue to enhance your skill set and evolve your game? Um, <clears throat> like I said before, like, I don't really uh, look at my game as having strengths and weaknesses. Um. So I just been in the gym working on everything, just a little bit of everything. Uh, getting my handles tighter, uh, continuing to work on my three point shot, extending my range, um, and just figuring out new things, new ways that I can score the ball. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Yes.